Hi, my name is Mitz Yogi, and this is my summary of Unit 2. Discourse analysis is the analysis of language in social context and is a qualitative method. The purpose of discourse analysis is to investigate the function of language and how meaning is construed in different contexts, such as social, cultural, political, and historical. There are two main ways you can approach discourse analysis, the language use approach and the social political approach. The language in use approach focus on the technicalities in the use of language, such as grammar, syntax, and phonology. The social political approach is the interest in the use of language to express normalness or repressive power and its dynamics. Discourse analysis in education is essential for understanding the complex dynamics of communication power and the meaning making education setting. It provides ideas for educators to teach and learning process, promote inclusive education, and facilitate the effective learning experience. At the same time, in discourse analysis, we can find conversation analysis and critical discourse analysis. Conversation analysis is related to understanding how speakers make the conversation work or how conversations are structured. Conversations are structured according to through thinking and determinate child verbal and non verbal, such as volume, pitch, eye contact, and gesture. Critical discourse analysis is an interdisciplinary approach to the study of discourse that views language as a form of social practice. Finally, I talk about type of discourse. Discourse can be categorized into a various types based on different criteria. Narrative discourse involves the telling of a story or a come of event. It follows a chronological structure with a beginning, middle, and the end. That using literature, historical account and storytelling. Descriptive discourse focus on providing detailed description and explanation of people, place, object, or event. They are using scientific observation and character description. Argumentative discourse presents a line of reason of persuasion to support a particular viewpoint or client. It involves Presentive evidence, example support, logical reason, and confidence the audience for a particular position. Expository discourse aims to explain, clarify, or provide information about a topic. It presents definition, explanations, and is common to found in textbook, academic writing, instructional manual, and informative articles.